Thanks for that little hitch. We now bring you the report on uh, the Labour Party's assurances to Nigerians. It's few weeks till the general elections, with various parties heightening their campaigns and winning voters to their side. The Labour Party also owes a global fundraising titan as it's part of its campaign strategy. Look at the points of emphasis, the certain things that must be emphasized if you are to get... Dr. Loretta Ogoro Oko, health expert, notes that the state of the country's health system is in a bad shape as government after government is yet to reach the zenith for the sector. She insists the Labour Party will bring a positive and enduring change to the sector he voted in. Nigeria has a dysfunctional healthcare system. So the Obidati government, when we come on board, as the team that is managing the affairs of Nigeria, have decided that we must make healthcare a front burner issue and bring it straight to those 133 million people and beyond. Following the pandemic induced recession in 2020, Nigeria's economic growth recovered, but macroeconomic stability weakened. Amidst global commodity shocks, our depreciating currency, trade restrictions, surge in inflation are all pushing millions of Nigerians into poverty. Addressing the economic setback in the country, experts say the only way forward is by changing from a consuming nation to a production nation. If you subsidize a product or a service or any sort of good, as we have with uh, uh, petroleum, uh, you know, the fuel, the PMS, when we subsidize it, the, the target will be to help uh, the poor, help small businesses. But then you notice that uh, those people are not the beneficiary of that subsidy. So the subsidy is still hijacked by the same rent-seeking system. So it doesn't work. Cooling security very well. It means that our mainstay of our GDP, of the economy, which is agriculture, will be properly and properly revived. It means that people can go back to the farms. It means that people can now start farming properly. Nigeria is experiencing a rise in insecurity. Violent conflicts in the country have battered new consequences, even as the government deploys measures to fight the Hydra elite challenge. We can see security agencies as enemies, yeah. not as friends. Mm. And that is what the system <clears throat> has created. Mm. We have a system that uses the security agencies against the people. You see, politicians use them against their opponents. So they see the security agencies as enemies to themselves. The national security architecture has marched again and again uh, in recent times. But what exactly it is and why is it what it is? What has it been? Has it been a default architecture? Or has it been a deliberately crafted architecture? Intelligence is virtually all over us every day, particularly when it comes to the kind of threats we have goat herders, bandits, localists, who haven't really gotten the kind of formal training and upper hands we have. But then if there's not a process that is going to ensure that the intelligence we have is handled by intelligent people, then we'll just continue to recycle intelligence that goes in and comes out just the way it went in. Perhaps February elections will be a deciding factor for a turnaround if electorate go for the most viable candidate, especially for the presidency. Emmanuel Ulubububu, Plus TV News.